Well, annoyingly, we've got this great girt fence blocking our way. And uh, quite frankly, even though I can get over it, I don't quite fancy it because, well, there's a bit of a drop there. And, uh, hmm, I could climb over that bit maybe, but yeah, it's going to be a bit of a fancy one. Um, I don't fancy it. Uh, not another Chelford Mill with you. Uh, uh. Well, we're back at Chelford Mill because today I've got their drone to have a good look at the viaduct. Now, the last time I turned up here, um, I couldn't get to the viaduct because it was fenced up, as you could just tell from that bit of footage I've just shown. But, um, yeah, now I'm going to uh, get my drone out and have a good old fly around. But before I do, might as well have a quick old look around. Annoyingly, I'm here on my own, so I'm going to have to be just a little bit careful because, well, it is a rather dangerous turning up to a derelict building and, well, only I end up injured, but... Oh, look at that water, it's a bit rougher than the last time we were here. Good fun, there's a lot of power cables around which might be an issue and it is a bit windy. But fuck me, it's a lot more, a lot more damage than the last time I was here. I'm not going in, if you want to see what it looks like inside. Go and have a look on my last videos. Uh, yeah. And also, we um, have no signal or phone signal here, so it would be interesting to see if my phone will work. So without a do, find a suitable place to get the drone up. <clears throat> and have a look at the viaduct. So yeah, I'm actually surprised this flies here because I've got no actual mobile phone signal but I've got satellite footage. Right, just check it's not whinging through wind and here we go. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Alright, we can check out this viaduct. Now, the last time I come here, we tried getting in from that entrance over there. But, unfortunately, we couldn't get in because, um... Because of, um... The fencing, I think. Getting our best angles from over here. Yes. Alright. We'll have a look. We'll have a look at the um, building in a minute, but just look at it. It's magnificent, isn't it? You mean I sort of like admire the oldies, like right? I mean, like back in the Victorian times, they built all these train lines, and um, I mean, you get nice, lovely, big derelict structures like this, which is just brilliant. Now, this bridge here has recently been. Um, renovated. I have heard rumours of them reopening it for um, use of a train again but last time I was here I couldn't get on to the actual viaduct. I don't want to crash into the bloody thing. Right. I don't want to... I do, yeah. Right, you can see on top I don't want to be too much round the wire duct because I can feel loads of wind coming through it and I don't want my drone getting blown out. And as you can see there, there's a building that's been burnt down by some stupid vandals.
Yeah. So, oh, it's quite cool, isn't it? Um, we have a look. Yeah. I would like to fly it through the um I would like to fly it through but the downside is um I can't. But see so yeah, if we can pick up the river from up here. There's the river. Oh look at that water flow. I don't know if you can hear it on the uh recording device. You know, someone left a comment on my channel. They're not surprised the building got vandalised because uh, I put the name of the place in my video title. Well, the way I see things, I knew this place was going to get vandalised way before I ever turned up to this place. And to be honest, it was put on social media way before I put it on. So... Not really, but the whole point of my videos is to basically show what happens to a building when it is no longer in use. And, well, this is what happens. You get idiots who think they can just turn up. And burn the shit out of everything. Now, I never got a chance to go into this building because there's some stuff there. Oh no, it's a bit of ceiling that's fallen down. The reason why I never got a chance to go into this building is because it was all locked up when I come here and then some idiot burned it down. But, eh. I really want to go through one of the archways. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. Oh fuck it, it's the worst that could happen. My drone will fall out the sky. Right. Shall we try and go for one of the archways? <laughs> and then... Come down a bit. Right, we're going for an archway. Woohoo! Right, I'm going to come back because... Excuse me, Timmy. I'm going to come back. Uh, yeah. Pretty neat. I do like the vibe that though. The vibe that is pretty cool. So then, I don't want to go too high with this one because there is a bit of wind around, but we'll go nice and high so you can get a nice look of the area. A nice lot of countryside, woodland, and etc i'll uh, slow it down because i normally do these shots a bit too quickly i find and yeah so anyway i think Someone left a push bike over there. Alright, oh, it's Lander. Landing. Landing. Now, I am here on my sod own, so I want to be careful with what I'm doing because. No, I mean, if I meet the wrong person or whatever, I'm going to be in the shit, so I don't want to stay here too long. But, I mean, I'll have a quick look around. Obviously, if you want to see what the place looks like, you'll have to just check my other videos. Um, so then, the place is, well, a lot more smashed up when the first time I come here. So, yeah, it's extremely smashed up. It's a bit of a shame, really. I've, you know, had quite a lot of comments of this place from um, former students 
a lot of the students said they loved it here. I mean, about, I don't know, about 95% of them said they loved it here. And then the, about 5% of the people said it's the worst part of their life. Well, to be honest with you, school wasn't exactly the um, best part of my life. I absolutely hated school. It did my absolute head in going, probably by far the worst. 11 years of my life, much prefer working, at least you earn money actually working, but I mean, I, I would like to have a quick look around just to see what's happened, I mean, all these windows were smashed, weren't smashed when I first turned up, but hey ho, um, you know what I mean, it's like somebody, you know, even said they're not surprised it's smashed up because I've come here and filmed it and put it on my YouTube channel, well, to be honest with you, me filming this place and putting it on my YouTube channel probably isn't going to make a lot of difference because at the end of the day people are still going to come here and smash the place, loot the place, whatever and the unfortunate reputation it closed down on, you know what I mean, it's just going to call more people in to wreck the place and blah blah blah, I mean this is the way derelict buildings go and the whole point of me coming here and filming the building is to basically show what happens to a building when it is disused and no longer up and you know what I mean it's like it is a big shame because it is a very old and beautiful building in some respect but it is what it is this is the way things go now anyway I'm going to get myself out of here now and uh, hopefully um, I don't get a problem. <laughs> but it is, it's a massive shame this place has been trashed. I really do like that thing though. And oh, the sound of the water is just beautiful. Right. Yeah. Right. Time to go, I think. Right. See you all in the next video.